Question number one. What is a fault in geological terms? The correct answer is letter D, a fracture in the Earth's crust where movement has occurred. Question number two. What is the main cause of faulting in the Earth's crust? The correct answer is letter D, tectonic forces. Question number three. Which type of fault is characterized by the hanging wall moving upward relative to the foot wall? The correct answer is letter B, reverse fault. Nearly one in five. Question number four. Which type of fault involves horizontal motion? The correct answer is letter C, strike slip fault. Question number five. What term describes the point on the Earth's surface directly above the focus of an earthquake? The correct answer is letter B, epicenter. Question number six. Which of the following is a famous strike slip fault? The correct answer is letter D, San Andreas fault. Question number seven. In a normal fault, how does the hanging wall move relative to the foot wall? The correct answer is letter B, downward. Question number eight. What type of stress is associated with reverse faults? The correct answer is letter D, compressional stress. Question number nine. Which type of fault is most likely to cause a tsunami if it occurs underwater? The correct answer is letter B, reverse fault. Question number 10. What is the primary difference between a fault and a joint? The correct answer is letter D. Faults have movement, joints do not. Question number 11. Which geological feature is commonly associated with normal faults? The correct answer is letter B, valleys. Question number 12. What is a thrust fault? The correct answer is letter B, a low angle reverse fault. Question number 13. When the Earth's crust is under tension, what type of fault is most likely to form? The 
The correct answer is letter B, normal fault. Question number 14. Which of the following terms describes the surface trace of a fault? The correct answer is letter C, fault line. Question number 15. Which of the following best describes a graben? The correct answer is letter D, a block of the Earth's crust that has moved down between two faults. Question number 16. Which type of faulting is most commonly associated with the formation of rift valleys? The correct answer is letter B, normal faulting. Question number 17. What is an active fault? The correct answer is letter D, a fault that has not moved in the past 10,000 years. Question number 18. Which of the following can indicate a fault is active? The correct answer is letter A, regular seismic activity in the area. Question number 19. Why are active faults closely monitored by scientists? The correct answer is letter D, to predict and prepare for potential earthquakes. Question number 20. Which natural disaster is directly associated with fault activity? The correct answer is letter D, earthquakes.